Hey guys, Rani here. Uh, do you remember when we created this tutorial about clickable PDFs? Well, today I'm going to show you how to create simple and clickable landing pages that you can publish as a website. So we are going to start from um, the document that we created last time. So this document where I was showing my uh, different online courses. And now we are going to use these on a landing page in order to create this specific offer we want to share with our audience, right? So I'm going to start from this document and uh, progressively add pages. So this is the first page. I'm going to move this one down and I'm going to use the title on the first page right here. So this will be like a mini website, a landing page with my different offers, right? So I want to make this kind of landing page like so run his courses for only $9.99. I want this to be the big first like thing that people see when they land on this page. So I will center this. I will reduce a little bit the spacing between the letters. Something like this looks pretty good. And then I'm going to add an accent of color. So I'm going to go to my element right here and use this dash of color right here. Okay, so I'm going to do something like this pretty much. I'm going to double click on it and reduce the size. So I'm about like this. And I'm going to position this backwards. Okay, so I think I need to move it up a little bit but I want to accentuate. Actually, I could double click and make this a little bit bigger. Something like that. Looks good. And again, move this so it's actually, it looks good. All right, so this looks pretty decent. Uh, maybe add a little bit more spacing. something like that then of course i need to access so if if one of your elements is kind of hidden be uh, behind the first one what you can do is press shift and then the tab button to like toggle between your different elements you see here i'm just holding my shift key and my tab tab key on my keyboard to kind of toggle between my different elements so i'm going to grab this one right here so i can move it with my keyboard arrows all right, so this is going to be on the first page. I'm going to add a little image of myself, kind of like my branding, my brand imagery. So for this, I'm going to go to my folders and find an image of me being all like, what? Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Maybe position it here, and then I will have to move the rest of this to the left sorry to the right a little bit of a coordination problem here all right so this looks good maybe what i can do is to use this one in black and white so i'm selecting the photo adjust and i will desaturate yes it looks good and augment the contrasts maybe the brightness a little bit this looks pretty good what i could do is to i will try to create some kind of an effect here so i'm going to duplicate this photo uh, copy. All right, I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Something like this. And I'm trying to make this look kind of purple. I'm going to blur it a little bit. And I want to add more like red tint to this. Not easy though. Maybe if I go this, di uh, sorry, this direction right here play with this one I guess the reddish I could get is um, something like this maybe oh yeah I could do something like this let me see if I push this back now it looks like this I can adjust why not I mean doesn't look too bad I can go with this all right so we have run his courses for only 9.99 then I can add a little indication here that people have to scroll down, okay? Because this will be a scroll down website. So uh, let me create this element. So I need to find arrow. 
little arrow showing down something like this yep this is cool way bigger though so I'm going to make this smaller right like this make sure it is at the proper place so somewhere around here I need to maybe add yeah this looks good so this is going to be our first page maybe instead of the gray background we could go for white background let's see mm, yeah this looks actually more dynamic so this is going to be the first page of our mini website so next I'm going to delete this one element and I'm going to duplicate duplicate this page sorry uh, let's say one two three let's say four times well let's say not sure actually how this design is going to look like in eventually but let's try maybe we can just use everything on one page um, so this is going to be the second page and I can yes I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have the four design on the same page like this the four courses on the same page and I'm going to add frames around them and I'm going to add the call to action here click to grab for only ten dollars or 9.99 actually 9.99 dollars okay so that's the call to action I'm going to try to make this I'm going to let's see here this thing right here I'm going to delete it this call to action I'm going to use another font, bigger font. Something like this. And I'm going to reduce the spacing. Let's see what we can do to make this look better. Okay, this is not bad. I will make sure this is at the center of my page so I go position middle center okay now I have let's group all this let's put this here for now I want to center these box like all right so like this now I can position this in the middle center middle all right so now it's in the middle I'm going to add an accent of color behind this continuing with the same kind of gradient colors right here to add some consistency in this landing page so for this I'm going to go back to my elements delete the search terms here and I'm going to go to the gradients and find this cool little yes circle right here that I can push behind my text and um let's position this to the back actually it shouldn't be because this image right here it's quite f ugly if it comes over my my shape so i'm going to push it back uh, forward a couple of times yes about this then needs to be center middle as well okay so my text can be slightly bigger as well because that's the call to action that's the important part of this page and then of course i'm going to change this for my colors to be consistent with the colors over there all right so this is looking better already just this image right here about the flat icon course i'm not totally convinced because it has a white background so maybe I can add another another one that I have here on my computer that will be more appropriate than this picture with the white edges. So let me find it. So here it is. So I'm going to drag this straight into Canva like this. And I'm going to have to copy the link first to make sure I grab it. So there it's copied and now click on this box and as soon as this image will be uploaded i will be able to drop it in my grid right here and change this design so it will look better now it's uploaded 
like this. Let's see if Canva kept the link. Yes, it did. So that's pretty cool. And now it looks more um, interesting, actually. Can make this bigger. Position it center, middle. Uh, by the way, Canva rearranged these position button and now they are more intuitive because the middle center, they are actually uh, like they ha are positioned into two columns. So it's really much more convenient to just click on both of these buttons to center an element on your page. So this is pretty cool. All right, so now we have the first page, the second page, and then what we are going to do is to add a last page with a customer testimonial, like a student uh, review, a student testimonial about one of my courses. So this adds to the credibility of these courses and uh, creates a nice social proof. So uh, for this, let me head over to Udemy. So I'm going to go fetch one of the testimonials from one of my students. So I am now in my review section under my Udemy, uh, my Udemy account. And then, so that's the Canva master course. I will find one of the recent reviews. I want to show you one of the recent ones, somebody who left an actual review. Okay, so there is one. Thanks, Ronnie, I've learned a lot. I'm very excited to try the tricks you've shared. The, your pop-up comic video help a lot in taking away my sleepiness during your tutorial. All right, that's interesting. Uh, it's not exactly the type of testimonial I'm looking for. So let's see if I can find one which is more appropriate. Love, so easy to follow and understand. Great personality, he makes it all fun. Let's use this. This is quick, to the point, and uh, I kind of like this. So I'm going to, okay, so now I have the screenshot of this testimonial. What I'm gonna do is to save Veronica's photo here because she has a photo on her profile. So we can always use this. Let's see if I can grab this image, view info, I will copy this. I will paste this in another window and see if I can grab that image. Yes, I can, so that's pretty cool. I will save image as, put this on my desktop. All right, desktop, and I will put Veronica, okay. Good, now back to Canva with all this information, I will create that testimonial, right? I'm going to insert some quotation mark, okay? Some quotation marks, I will go to elements and put quote. All right, I will use some cool quotation marks. Let's use these ones. And I will need these ones as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you something. I did something too quick. I'm going to select this one, select the second one, and then select them both to reduce their size so they are exactly the same size, guys. So this is some little trick that I use all the time. So the testimonial is gonna come right here in the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to insert my different elements on this page. Maybe I change the color of these quotation marks to have something kind of on brand here, like following the different colors I have here. And uh, all right, so first I need to insert the actual testimonial and her photo. So let's bring both of these elements into Canva, right there. So I'm gonna simply paste her testimonial and add maybe a bigger photo of her. So let's see, could do something like this. Actually, I could just leave it like this. Have this in the middle of my page. So again, I will position center middle and I will push this backwards. So it's behind my quotation mark. And then I will have this one right here. Okay, so this looks pretty cool already. Um, I have my customer, my student testimonial. Love it, easy to follow etc etc so this adds credibility to my uh, landing page right here so maybe I can add a title to this okay so we have run his courses for only 9.99 click to grab for only 9.99 and then we could have a text box right here 
make this bigger choose a bigger font as well so what's this font right here it's 93 that's quite too big but let's make this one let's say 656 and use the same font so prompt bold right and we could justify this on this side and write what my students think right something like this looks pretty cool what my student think and yep this is pretty good so we have like a three page landing page which uh, looks good now I'm going to export this uh, as a website to see how it looks so in order to export as a website everybody can do this this is a feature available for every Canva user not just Canva for work so you just click on the little arrow right here and you find website so you will export as a website you will have different options you will have presentations scrolling classic navigation and standard so I go for scrolling because I like the scrolling style of websites and then open website it will give me the URL here I will copy it and I will open the website to show you how it looks like so this is how it looks like run this course that's the first screen I can scroll down and you can see here I can click on the different courses so if I click on this one let's see open in um, incognito window I will do this to show you how it looks like and you will see that the course is opening the course landing page for 300 baht or basically $9.99 uh, that's the coupon I created so these links work uh, perfectly let me open the second one to show you incognito mode I open them in inc incognito mode because I'm already involved like enrolled in these courses of course so uh, everything looks perfectly and then my last page with my uh, student testimonial perfect so this is how you create your uh, simple landing pages with Canva you can now copy the link so I already copied it from here. You can copy it from here. You can copy it from here. Make sure if you copy it from the actual landing page that you are on the first page because uh, Canva will make a distinction if you're on the third, second or first page. So make sure you're on the first page, copy this link right here. And then this is the link you can share with your friend. So uh, for me, that's it for today. I will copy the link of this landing page uh, in the description of this video so you guys can check it out you can try it you can click on the buttons and if you like you can grab one of my courses for only $9.99 so this is a pretty good deal guys and if you want the four of them go ahead and purchase the four of them you will make me very happy all right so I hope you learned something interesting again with us today uh, learn to design with Canva I'm Ronnie your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva uh, I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next video.